Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another West Timer Road Route. Hopefully, everyone is doing well. We're back again with another episode of the West Timer Road Route series. We're here at our next intersection, man. We're back at here. We're here at our next intersection that we're going to be working on. And as promised, I promised you a commentary video. So here we go. There's one commentary video for you guys. I'll have another one for. Uh, I'll have another one probably for the Beltway. Now, when we get to the Beltway 8, which is the end of the phase, uh, the first phase, which uh, will be a, which will be the first testing of this route by that time as well. So, yeah, but I hope you guys have been doing well. I hope you all had a great weekend and had a great week last week, and hopefully you're having a great start to your Monday, a great start to your week. Um, uh, Like I said, LSPDFR is still on hold. I am still waiting on the update for the, um, I'm still waiting on the update for the trip book. Once that gets upload, once that gets uh, pushed out, then LSPDFR will be back on the channel. So we all be ready for that. But all right, let's go ahead and get started. Since I only have a few minutes with you guys, I want to try to get two short episodes. I want to try to get it all done. I don't want to do another hour long intersection video because I did one for the Trina stuff. And yeah, and I don't think a lot of people, I don't think a lot of you guys like that. So I'm going to try to keep it short, keep it sweet. We try to get it all out the way here. But all right, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and put out the ATLS controller. This will be a ATLS, uh, all, all ATLS control for the crossings and the traffic lights. Of course, the traffic lights, but the crossing will be also ATLS control. We'll do our second TRC crossing at Derry Ashford. And the reason why I try to do all the big intersections is because I can do it. Well, I, can, I can control it a lot better. I can control it a lot easier than I can with, uh, with ATLS, uh, well, I can do, then I can then with it, ATLS. So, um, I do Derry Ashford will be the next TRC crossing. Um, after that, it'll be Wilcrest. So it'll be uh, I'm, I'm skipping in the sections. Um, it'll be Kirkwood. Then Wilcrest. And then it'll be Kirkwood. Then Wilcrest. And then it'll be um, Rogerdale. It'll be City West, Rogerdale, and the Beltway, um, which will be the end of the phase. Uh, the first half of the route, the first chunk of the route that'll be done. We're actually almost done with this little section. Um, I want to do a test run once we get to, uh, once we finish with the Beltway. And uh, once we're done with the Beltway, I want to do a full test run from the Highway 6 to the Beltway. And then after that, we'll continue on with the episodes of getting this other section done. I'm getting, these, getting this route done. I'm hoping to have this route done real soon, guys. So it's going to be a long ride. So I hope you're going to enjoy this series man this is going to be one of the long series is um this one's going to be long and the 1960 route series will also be a long series so i hope y'all ready for the uh for the episodes man hope y'all ready um they'll be like this it'll be some non comment it'll be none commentary and half commentary uh some of this might get worked on on stream on youtube so um y'all uh, not subscribed to the channel yet i guess you do man because you might see me pop up a stream maybe we'll work on this um on the night that I'm not playing with, uh, I'm not playing golf with your friends, with my, uh, with my Twitch community, with my friends on the Twitch, uh, on the Twitch side. So, uh, yeah, man. But anyway, let's go ahead and get our, let's go ahead and get our, uh, go ahead and get our stoppers out. And then go ahead and rotate this. So, yeah, like I said, I want to keep these episodes short and sweet to the point. Uh, I know you like, I know a lot of you guys don't have a lot of time, so I try to keep these short. So that way you guys can uh, keep moving and grooving. Like I said, I did that hour, and yeah, that kind of reflected. I did that hour for the Trina stuff, and yeah, a lot of you guys have, don't think a lot of you guys like that. So I was like, okay, well, because nobody really watched it. So I was like, okay, maybe uh, maybe an hour is too long. So I'm, I'm like, okay, so let me not, let me break it up into segments so where I can keep pushing out episodes stuff like that so this whole entire intersection will be commentated by me of course i'll be talking along the way getting it while we're working on it and stuff like that and um, yeah we'll keep it moving we'll keep it grooving you know what i mean we can get uh we can get intersections done and i can get the test i can get the testing quicker so you guys can see what uh you know if, uh, make sure everything is working all right, so let me go ahead and do the uh, let's go ahead and do the stoppers. I always do the stoppers. As you can see in all the other episodes, we always do the stoppers first. We start working on the new intersection. 
the stoppers are kind of easy. They can get them out the way. Everything else is a little bit more work. So I'm going to go ahead and put my spline points in for everybody else. If I only have a spline point for that road, for that, um, I don't have a spline point for that stop. It's due to the fact that it was already one. The way I had to do the road and try to keep it in line with the uh, ruler. As you can also see, guys, I do have the next ruler up. I do have the next ruler up. Um, I do have the next ruler up for Derry Ashford. So Derry Ashford will be the next after the two episodes of this intersection. And um, yeah, that'll be, that'll be the next intersection. That'll be a no commentary. Um, we're going to get that one done, and of course, we're going to keep on moving through. Because, like I said, I'm not going to test everything just yet. I'm going to get to the beltway, which is the first phase of the route, the first half of the route that's done. But I still have a long way to go. I still have a lot of traffic lights to put up. I still have all the other stuff. And then, of course, once we're finished with, after we get past segment two, which is going to be 610, segment two is 610. But once we get past, once we get to segment two, then I'll, I do all the side streets. So we're going to have a lot of work, a lot of work ahead of us. Because I'm going to do it off the side streets. There's been some changes. Um, there's been some changes out here um, in River Oak Place, in the River Oak Place side of the map, that um, in real life that has been changed. There's been a couple of things that's been moved around. Highland Village has been changed to move around. Um, for the first time, that we're, uh, there's a... Uh, there's a new traffic light that they put up at, uh, I forgot the name of that street out there, but it's over there by the UP Houston. It's over there by the river crossing for the UP Houston stuff. Um, I forgot the name of the street. And I think those traffic lights do work with that crossing. That's how close the traffic lights are to the crossing. So I would think you Pacific in the city would try to put, you know, try to get the two together so the light can work with the crossing and keep traffic back from you know, get towards the crossing. So, uh, yeah, and I saw that change the last time I was out. I was out that way, and I went that far down on West Time on the bus. Um, the last time I was out there, I think the traffic lights are on now. The last time I went out there was in January, the beginning of the year. Um, and I saw the traffic lights were set up and stuff like that. They weren't on yet at the time, but I think they're on now. And like I said, I think those lights will work at the crossing because this crossing, that, that river crossing for West Timer, it's really close to the traffic lights. So I would think there'll be a track clear screen and all that stuff, you know, when trains are coming by, stuff like that, to keep traffic back from piling up at the crossing, stuff like that, as it was before. So I think they probably changed it to where now there's a traffic light sitting there and the light will stay red, you know, until the train passes and finishes and passes on and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think there's a, I think there's a new, uh, I think there's something going on over there. I haven't been back down there since. I haven't seen the new lights and action and all that yet. But um, as soon as I do, man, I, I hope they get a, a good. I hope I can get a train out of it. Yeah, I can post that to YouTube. I can show you guys the new track, the new uh, track lights that they put up right in front of the crossing on West Timer, just on that. Uh, with the tracks that go, that goes along uh, that goes north to south, as uh, the UP Houston stuff. So if you guys are from a lot, if a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are from Houston. So uh, a lot of you guys are from all over the world. But I know I got my Houston rail fans as well. A lot of you guys know um, that those new traffic lights are there. So I would like to actually see those traffic lights in action to see. If they have the track lines and stuff, I would think they will do. But, of course, I want to see it in person. I want to see it in person. All right, so let's go ahead. And Ashford Oak Street and Briar West Drive and West Timer Road. Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited to see what's, uh, what's new, what's going on down there in Highland Village. Because they, 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 they redid the roads out there in Highland Village, which they needed to do. And they added the median. I saw that the last time I was out there. They added the median and all that stuff in there. So I was like, okay, that's interesting. And then I saw the new traffic like that was getting put up there as well. Because um, it used to be controlled by uh, by the Highland Village police um, during the rush hours, of course. 
I was like, okay, well, if one day they're gonna put a light here. And they did. They redid it. They redid the ropes out there, and they re uh, they put a light up. I was like, oh, they put a light up here now. And then like it's close to the river crossing too, so that probably means that um that'll be uh it'll be preempt. I don't know if they I don't know if those traffic lights flash red. I don't know nothing about you know about those new lights. I have no idea. I, like I said, I haven't been back out there in a while. So next chance I can get on out there, I'm definitely gonna find out for you guys, and I'm gonna make a video on it. We can catch a train going by as well, and yeah, it'll be a fun time. So be looking out. So be on the lookout for that video because I would like to see what those lights do as well. Um. Because there's no protected left turns or anything like that on the side streets. So I don't know if they flash red. I don't know what they do. So it could stay red the whole entire time. Keep their turn light green. You know, do like a limited preamp where the lights don't flash. Or they can make them flash. I just don't know. I just don't know. They could not flash at all. They could keep working throughout while the train is passing by. Traffic backing up towards the crossing. You just never know. You just never know. All right. So this is channel 12. Um, of course, we're going to have our green before track clearance. Track clearance green, green to clear our traffic. Green to clear our traffic, and then maybe let's do five and six. So to continue to green to clear our traffic, and then it goes back to one and three. I think I might do something like that. I might, maybe we can max it up to nine, and we can do, uh, we can do it one and six as well. And then it can go back to one and three after it like goes one and six. Of course, morning uh, six would be probably be short because I would probably keep six short. I wouldn't keep six 20 seconds long. I think that's too much time before it goes back around to the cycle. So I would probably do it like this. All right, but of course, one and six will have the green light. And eight is the railroad crossing, of course, but uh, yeah, for our railroad crossing. Right. All right, so let's go ahead and do our timings here. I don't know how long these lights stay green for. Um, I'm going to say we're going to put 12 seconds on there. Of course, I do the main light 40 seconds. These lights in West Timer in real life, they're real long. They stay green for a while. So, um, due to the fact the high volume of traffic that goes by, so they have to make it long. So, I just do 40 seconds. This is trains. It's not a lot of... This ain't like West Timer. It, the roads in, on this game is not like West Timer, where there's high volumes of traffic and all, all four lanes and stuff like that. So... Uh, we can keep it 40 seconds, which is fine. It should be plenty enough time for track to do its thing. Um, before a train comes to it and track likes to do their thing. Right. Um, okay, so I'm going to do... Uh, let's do 15. 15 is fine. 15 is fine. Alright. And then I'm going to do 20. I'm going to do 25. We'll do 25. Let's do 25. All right, and then we'll do uh, six seconds. I want to do five. Okay, I did seven. I'll do six. All right, green for the track clearance. Green phase. It'll be 80 seconds. We're doing 80 seconds for all the uh, for all the traffic lights along West Timer that has the track clearance green phase. It'll be 80 seconds for all of them. Um, Basically, almost all of the lights, all the intersections, including the side streets, once we get into uh, past river, once we get past the 610th section, uh, we'll probably be, uh, we'll be all traffic lights. So, I'm planning to put a traffic light like I did last time, or Shadow View and West Timer. I really think they should just put a light right there, and they just didn't. They just put a median there, and there's some crazy stuff, which don't make it to me, but that's the city of Houston for you. All right, I'm going to do six seconds for this, because I don't think that light needs to be going that long. All right. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up. And actually, this is going to be it for this episode. I'll just end up talking to you guys, let you know what's going on. Um, we did get a little work done as well. Let me go ahead and do this real quick. And then, um, yeah, man, y'all be looking out for the next episode. It'll be coming up soon. Um, yeah, yeah, the um, video should get uploaded here in for you guys later on today. So I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. I do appreciate you guys watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, man. I appreciate you guys so much trying to get me here. Try to get me back up to where I need to be so I can 
monetate, monetate my, uh, so I can monetate my, uh, my channel again, man. I, I would like to, I would like to earn money again like I did on YouTube back in the day. But I lost it because I, I stopped making content like, I, like I'm trying to get back to doing. And there's going to be a lot of work to try to get it all the way back to where it was. It's probably not going to be great to get it there because, you know, I really blew up in 2020, but now it's like the channel just died. You know, I stopped uploading and stuff like that. So I really want to get my channel back. And you guys, I need you all you guys help. And I hope y'all can uh, help me get me back to where I need to be. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode of the West Hammer Road Route Series. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button, man. I'm going to be pushing out these videos this week, man. We're going to get these videos pushed out. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, guys. Enjoy John Williams out. God bless.